gender pay gap and stuff, what do you feel? Do you think I men feel, should be paid more? Yeah, men should definitely be paid more. Okay. 100%. That's why any anyone that's worked with me knows I get paid for. But, 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 <laughs> but what if a woman say I'm getting the same results as the other guys, why am I not being paid as much? Just the, all right, on performance then. Base yeah. it on performance. Yeah. yeah? Well, so basically... Women you, aren't going to be as strong as so, men. So like, for example, women uh, in the escort industry, the reason why I say a, a man is required, yeah? All right. If you're a woman working, you are more at risk if you're working alone and you're alone with an, a strange man, you are at risk. Unless you've got a man watching your back, or even a woman maybe, yeah? It's better than no one. But what can you but, do if someone's, if you're with somebody, you know, obviously doing this act, yeah. your phone's not going to be right next to you, right, is it? Yeah. And so, um, uh, she's, getting okay. she's getting tumped up, yeah. boom, boom, boom. You're thinking, mm. well, you know, it's an hour. It's still not an hour yet. Yeah. Yep. And, and, she, and he's left before the hour. Then what could you I've have done? I've got a perfect scenario okay. that, I had, that I was involved in. Okay. That will answer your question, okay. yeah? Now, there was a girl, this was in Canary Wharf. I had this thing from Scotland working, yeah? She was making dough. She was a grinder. She was like man then. Was it because she of had the, the mindset of a man? Was it because yeah. of the accent? No, bro, Scott, I'll be real. <laughs> she was probably the deadest thing I had working for me. Oh shit. Yeah. Like literally, fam. But her work ethic and her ambition, she was like a guy. Okay. Yeah. She 24 hours out there. Drugs, clients here, hackney, Leighton, out calls, in calls. She was working 24 hours, two, three weeks, to the point where her thing's blowing because she's there. Some girl might come for half a day. Make five hundred pound. Oh, that's enough for, to buy my handbag. I'm gone. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say, yeah. fam? Her grinding, yeah. So now nah, that's a little background of her. So she's a grinder. She's she knows what she's doing. She can handle herself as well. Yeah. She probably beat me up. She's you know what I'm trying to say. She could handle herself. Now nah, check this. She's in a situation where a guy's rang up in the morning. Bengali guy from Tower Hamlets, yeah, Canary Wharf. He's rang up and said, oh, I want to ink. I want to out call at my property. Da 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 da. See the girl's talking to him. Boom. We agree the price. She's gone there. I think this was on, like, on the fucking 20th floor or something. She's gone upstairs. There's no signal up there. So this is where I was getting headache from the start because she's gone up there. There's no signal. Mm. I'm trying to ring her. It's not going through. I'm like, fuck. This booking's like, I think it was about £1,500. He was going to pay up front. So she's got the money now. I've gone upstairs because I told her, look, I want the money. If it's £1,500, then I have to come get the money before you stop. Mm. You're not going to be there with a guy for five hours with the money there. Yeah. Okay, the guy just thinks, oh, fuck this. That's I'm it. taking the money. I'm going to bounce. So yeah. I've gone. I've waited outside the hallway. I've took the money off her, yeah? I've, I've gone now somewhere else. She was in the guy's flat for a couple of hours. Then the guy goes, oh, can we go to a hotel? Like, oh, I don't want to chill here no more. Can we go to a hotel? She's messaged me. I've told her, yeah, that's calm. Yeah, do your thing. The guy's booked it. They've gone to a hotel around the corner. I've actually seen them because I was actually... At that time, I was around the hotel. I had other girls working as well. 